Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Tonight, we, along with the rest of our country, are grappling with the racist hatred that took the lives of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, just in the last few months. These acts are not isolated, but rather examples of deeply rooted racism in our nation. When our board leadership first began to reimagine the spring gala in a virtual format, the world looked very different. Before we begin this evening's event, we want to take a moment to acknowledge the pain and suffering now present in our community from our nation's long history of failure to address race and privilege. Current events have illuminated fundamental problems with systemic racism, justice, equality, and the meaning of democracy in America. As a school, we remain dedicated to providing our students with the tools necessary to recognize injustice and fight for what they know is right. The Torah instructs us that you shall not stand idly by while the blood of your neighbor is spilled. We are commanded to take action and we are dedicated to teaching our children to do so. Kahila is a Jewish institution seeped in Jewish tradition and we strongly welcome and embrace our diverse community. We believe that our school and our community is better because of our diversity. We recognize the importance of not only sharing our traditions with those around us, but in learning from those who are different from us as well. Kahila is a community that deeply values mutual respect and understanding. And now more than ever, we are committed to teaching our students to learn from and respect those of different cultures, religions, races, and traditions. We cannot remain isolated. We are stronger together. And so tonight, while we are here to celebrate our school and our students, we want to pay attention to and listen closely to the pain and suffering in America. We recognize that we are a community of privilege, and it is a real privilege to attend Kahila. That privilege brings with it immense responsibility and demands action. I love this school, but we are still learning how much work we have to do. That work will not be easy, but it is necessary. We hope that our Kahila can play a part in making our world a better and more equitable place. We have edited this video. We actually took out a lot of financial requests. The need is still very real as COVID-19 presents our school with significant unexpected expenses, but the, the timing just felt inappropriate. In the interest of being sensitive to the world, we've decided to focus on the children and their stories because we believe deeply that our students provide hope for the future. In order to continue the extraordinary work we do in raising tomorrow's just and thoughtful leaders, we do need your help. Now more than ever, your donation to Kahila will be felt not only by our students, but by everyone whose lives they touch. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoy the evening. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us in this special and unique 2020 Gala. So I want to start by thanking this amazing group of people that worked hard to put this event together. You know, I grew up in a kibbutz, in a Galilee in Israel, and I knew from a young age how important it is and how reassuring it is to be a part of a strong community. As you know, over the years, Israel had its fair share of extreme challenges, but I always felt safe and supported and confident because I knew that whatever challenge we face, we'll do it together, we'll step up and we'll do whatever it takes to overcome it. And now, in the face of COVID-19 challenge, I feel exactly the same about our amazing Keila Jewish High School community. And I feel it because I've seen it. I've seen our amazing and committed faculty and staff stepping up in a big way to move from regular to online learning practically overnight in a way that inspires communities and schools around us. I've seen the inspiring way that every one of the board members step up collectively in our unwavering commitment to support the community and the families and provide the school with whatever resource they need to continue and do the magic that they do. 
And I've seen individuals in this community stepping up and donated generously already to support us in our efforts. And tonight I'm asking every one of you to also step up and help us. Because this year, probably more than ever before, we need your financial support. We need your financial support because we know that running a school in the near future will be significantly more expensive than ever before. We already know that we need to invest a lot in financial aid to make sure that every family can continue being part of the community. We also know that we need to have significant additional investment in facilities, in equipment, in cleaning and sanitizing, in professional development and technology and much more. And we know we need to do it together. So we ask you to step up and donate to the best of your ability. And we made it easy for you tonight. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for being part of this amazing community. Hello, Kahila community. I'm Roger Rosner, Kahila board chair and an alumni parent. Before we get started, I want to say a few words about Kahila. Obviously, these are profoundly uncertain times. Please consider making a special gift this evening so Kahila can continue to excel at teaching our kids in these tough times. As I'm sure you know, this June marks the end of Rabbi Darren Kleinberg's tenure as head of school. Darren has been an inspirational leader. His brilliant mind, his integrity, his caring, and devotion to the school impressed so many of us. And he's been a great friend and a seriously wicked guitar player. Thank you, Darren. You will always be a part of this community. Thanks again for joining us. Thanks to the incredible faculty and staff. Thank you to our board members and donors. And thank you to our parents and students. Up next, we have Darren Kleinberg. Thank you, Roger. And, uh, you know, there are so many people to thank uh, at this, uh, this stage at the end of my tenure here at Kehila Jewish High School. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve this extraordinary school and to spend these past seven years uh, in this community. As is our custom in the Jewish tradition, I'm going to recite a blessing of thanksgiving and gratitude for these past seven years and for this moment where we're gathered together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu vikimanu vihigianu Lazman hazeh Ah, 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 Amen Blessed is Adonai, our God, the mystery that it precedes, pervades, and is throughout all that is for giving us life, for allowing us to linger here for just a little time, and for bringing us to this moment. And if you're willing, please join me and let us say, Amen. Thank you all for the gift of serving this community. It's now my honor to pass things on to our beloved teacher, the boss, yes, Mr. Ron Schloss. Thank you, Darren. A good school puts its students first. And from the four commitments through extraordinary futures, including the day-to-day -day operations of the school, the good of the student was the direction Darren set for Kihila from the beginning. For me as a faculty member and other faculty members, this emphasis freed us up to not worry about the little things, but to focus on delivering the best experience possible for our students. That is an environment I will always appreciate. Speaking of students, as a teacher, it's always a pleasure to see how they evolve from the time they enter to the time they leave. Some students enter as small, timid freshmen. And by the time they graduate, they dwarf me in terms of stature and their level of knowledge. But their growth doesn't stop there. It continues. Once they graduate from Kehila, they become alumni. And when alumni come back to say hi, it's always thrilling for me to hear how much they're learning, experiencing, and accomplishing as college students in professions or any walk of life that they've chosen here and abroad. In the next few minutes, 
you'll hear from some alumni who have pursued different areas of study and have embarked on different paths of life. They all have one thing in common, however. They were students at Kihila. Kihila definitely played a, um, an important role in my, my growth as a person. So I'm an incoming junior at uh, Princeton studying computer science, and I think um, Kihila has really prepared me um, more than adequately on this, this path. Um, many of the relationships I cherish most uh, today I've built at Kihila, whether that be you know my best friends or teachers who I still have fantastic relationships with Akihila, whether that be Mr. Schloss, um, Mr. G, who both you know, inspired me to, to study STEM at a higher level in university, uh, and just having those tight-knit relationships really taught me to um, put myself out there um, in college in regards to you know, building relationships with professors, um, embarking in research opportunities, or just you know going to office hours and getting help in preparation for an exam. It really taught me to sort of um, advocate for myself at the university level and sort of develop relationships with professors. I'm so grateful for Tequila because it really, you know, taught me how to become a more complete person, whether that be from relationship building to academics, it really inspired me to be the person I am today and is, is teaching me how to dream bigger for my future. Tequila's size really showed me what I wanted to have in my college experience and that allowed me to apply to smaller colleges including the one that I now go to, Scripps College. We have a humanities major called the Interdisciplinary Studies and Culture, and I will be either just minoring or dual majoring with fine art, which also was a discovery I made at Kahila. A big part of Kahila is the fact that it's a Jewish school. I did not realize until the first few weeks into college how much I needed my Jewish community. I joined Hillel very soon into my freshman year and I've been on board since. I've also joined many other Jewish groups on campus, student run, political, those have been my support systems throughout. I could always rely on having that Shabbat dinner on Friday nights, which was something I didn't know I needed and I'm so glad I have. So I think there are five things that really defined my Kahila experience. Uh, and the first one is as soon as I got there, I started making friends almost immediately. And Kahila does a great job at mixing grades and promoting, you know, mingling and connections between your older, you know, Kahila counterparts as well as kids in your grade. And that was something really special. And the second part was academics. They teach it not just one way, and so if you don't understand something or you know, you're having trouble in a class, the teachers are more than happy to sit down with you and help you. Along with that, they help with uh, encouraging advocacy. I know that a lot of my friends who weren't really prepared to go up to their teachers and explain what they need or explain accommodations, you know, freshman year, I could really see their transition all the way through senior year and going into college and how prepared they are to you know, speak to teachers, speak to professors, uh, and really advocate for what they need. Come junior and senior year, one of the most special things about Kahila is kind of the transition from normal school to school with the college process. And they really guided me on the process to getting into college uh, and, and applying to college. And I think that was just totally invaluable. So you just heard from my son, Jared. Um, I can't tell you how proud I am of him and also how grateful I am to, to Kahila. I still remember sitting with Darren and talking to him about the school and, and Darren said, you know, our promise to you is that we will maximize your child's outcome however, however you and he want it to be. And that's really what I saw. The, the teachers cared so deeply about my son and the environment and the community cared deeply about my son and he left with a sense of confidence he left with a sense of um, pride in how, what a good student he was and how much he was able to accomplish. And, um, and he left with an amazing group of friends. And, and for all of that, I'm just incredibly grateful. Uh, now I have my next son who's gonna be joining the school. Ari will be a freshman next year. And I'm sure his experience will be completely different, but I, um, 
I know that the teachers will care about him and, and will help him to achieve his best, just like they did to Jared, and I'm incredibly grateful. For a few minutes tonight, I want to recognize and pay tribute to the extraordinary Kahila staff, the many people with whom I have the honor of working each day. And to do this, I want to turn the clock back to the last week of February 2020, a little over three months ago today. At that time, we were about eight weeks into the second semester and having one of those great years in a school's history. A strong senior class, vibrant clubs, good sports seasons, academic successes, just to name a few. Our junior class was off on the Israel trip at that point, and our other three grades were preparing for their trips to Los Angeles, Portland, and New York City the following week along with a new on-campus program on storytelling. I am still really moved when I think back to how fortunate our students were, especially the class of 2020, to have experienced these trips this year and all the wonderful learning opportunities and class bonding that come with travel and experiential education. So much has changed since then and so much awaited our teachers when they returned from leading these trips. Usually a chaperone has a little time to rest before gearing up for school again, but not this year. In a rapidly changing world, our teachers had about a week's time to pivot and transform their on-campus classes into a virtual platform and continue teaching. It is amazing to think about what our professional team has accomplished since then. Their talent, hard work, and most of all, their deep, deep devotion and care of our students have led to a vibrant continuation of our academic program. Teachers have continued to revise original plans, seek professional development opportunities, meet with students for extra help, and to prepare them for the next level. Others have navigated such challenges as operating our advancement and admissions offices remotely. All the while, so many people, like Matt Linden and his Tuesday Trivia Nights, have gone above and beyond to continue our community life and the connections that are at the heart of our Kahila. But I'm not surprised when I reflect on this pivot and on our students' positive academic experiences this past quarter. We have an outstanding teaching staff at Kahila who are deeply committed to preparing students for extraordinary futures. Your support plays a vital role in our ability to find these incredible people. And I thank you for considering a contribution this evening. And now let's hear a little more from our class of 2020. No matter if I had a question about a homework assignment or a question about some homework that I missed, or if I just wanted to chat, the teachers and faculty were always there for me and I could not have asked for a more supportive environment for my high school experience. The adaptability of the teachers and the faculty at Kihila is what made Kihila such a wonderful school to be a part of. As Mr. Linden and other teachers have really like made sure that their workload that they give to the students is very adaptable and changeable depending on how the students are doing. I had Dr. Dooley last year as my uh, US history teacher and it was a really amazing experience. She's such a delight to have as a teacher. Um, she really related to the students um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and she really made an effort to get to know each and every one of us. Um, she was really passionate about what she was teaching and always felt excited to be teaching it. At Kahila, I felt like I had a lot of classes where I just really enjoy who the teacher is as a person, and that really helps with the class. Some of the best memories I've made have just been laughing, quote walls. Some really memorable experiences were Mr. Marmer's modern poetry class in 11th grade and Miss Wolfden's calculus class this year. Just being around people all day who are connecting with me around learning and connecting with them too has felt amazing. One teacher who's had a great impact on me is Dr. Bahra. I've had him for three classes, my favorite being advanced algorithms senior year. In this five-person class, Dr. Bahra was open to our suggestions of what we were passionate about learning. Sitting in class working on these projects was some of the most fun I've had in any class at Kahila, and I think I really discovered my passion and excitement for learning from this class and from Dr. Bahra. 
Going off to college, I can only imagine what it would be like if the Kihila faculty hadn't imparted this amazing skill of self-advocacy. Thank you to the Kihila teachers who have given me this skill and so many others and prepared me for what's to come in the next few years. Dr. Dooley represents a teacher that really means something to me and represents um, my Kihila experience because she's just so sweet and loving and sensitive um, and I just really love that. Freshman year, I had Ms. Musinski as my English teacher. You could tell that she cared about her students really deeply and as more than students, she would want to get to know you as a person. I just, I really appreciate that and I think having her as a teacher helped me grow both as a person and a student into the person that I am today. Throughout my time at Kehila, kind of history classes are what have stood out to me most as what I'm most interested in. And I thank that largely to the teachers that I've had, starting with Dr. Bennett for those first two years, who really made engaging classes that really got me interested in the material, while also keeping me on track with a really good work schedule. And then junior year, I was in a three-person class led by Ms. Rowledge. That class really interested me, especially because the teacher, Ms. Rowledge, was able to make it relatable to me and to make it something that I was interested in. And then this year with um, Mr. Linden as my teacher for AP Gov and Economics, kept that interest going and really made a fun classroom environment that made me eager to learn and also to work with my peers a lot and really kept me going on that path of things that I'm interested in with history and government and politics. And that's what I hope to study in the future and go into in the future. As a student at Kahilo over the past four years, I've had a lot of great experiences and particularly with my teachers. We've gotten to know each other really well. They really care about you and about how you're doing, uh, not just academically, but also in your own personal life. If anything's troubling you, they want to accommodate you. And it's been a great experience. In my time at Kihila, I've learned a lot of lessons and a lot of those lessons were taught to me by Miss Musinski. She was a teacher that always pushed me to challenge myself in my writing. She not only cared, about the quality of the work of her students, but also about their well-being and push them to be the best people that they could be. I have to just give a shout out to Mr. Romero. He made my high school experience awesome. He introduced me to music, made me passionate about music. He was my favorite class. Cobb Shop in itself is really pretty amazing, actually, if you think about it really shows you the community of the school and how supportive it is and how much of a community it actually is. I feel so lucky to be like so close with my teachers and to have leaving class and graduating high school be so sad because it doesn't it makes me not want to leave Kahila and it just feels like such a special energy when we're all together and I just want to thank Kahila for that. It transformed me as a person. In addition to being a parent and a board member at Kahila, I had the privilege of chairing our search for the new head of school. We got applicants from all over the world, literally all over the world. And there was one person that just stood out, and that was Daisy Pellant. I have to tell you, I had the opportunity to do her reference checks, and after hearing from parents, from educators, from teachers, it was clear that we would be so lucky to get her to join our community. So today, I am excited to introduce you all to Daisy. And Good evening. My name is Daisy Pellant, and I'm honored to be the incoming head of school for Kahila. It's hard to believe that I first read about Kahila only a year ago. I was struck by the heart of the four commitments to respect and care for ourselves, for others, and for the world. My curiosity was further piqued by the unapologetic focus on being a school unlike any other, one that knows that academic achievement can and must exist in tandem with human development. And we can honor all quirks and variations in the process. As a developmental psychologist, this was right up my alley. How had we never met before? My subsequent visits to the school brought to light the deep integrity of the community as I spoke with impassioned faculty, students, and families about their love for one another, the program, and the experience of being at Kahila. I will never forget the conversation I had with a new family who had chosen Kahila because they heard from a friend of a friend 
that it was a place that helped to create the adults we all hope our kids will become. Tears welled up in the mother's eyes as she expressed joy in having her child at Kahila and gratitude for collaboration in raising and launching all of our children to live in accordance with our Jewish values and to make a difference in the world. As the mother of four, this resonated with me as I flew back to the snowy north. While the snow has now melted and the world has been turned upside down, tonight I'm zooming in rather than meeting you in person. Tonight, I'm speaking with you from Minneapolis, the epicenter of the pain that is blanketing our nation. Earlier today, my school, Breck, had its graduation ceremony. Like Kahila, we are grappling with wanting to celebrate our school and our wonderful graduates, while also truly hearing the chorus of voices on our streets saying change has to happen now. In my head, I hear hello, and if not now, when? Hillel was telling us that we cannot postpone our duty to be a part of what heals the world. This is true today. We cannot postpone our duty to dismantle systemic racism, and we must work as allies in solidarity toward a better world. Kahila Jewish High School already lives into this duty to heal the world. And that is one of the many reasons I said yes to becoming your next head of school. Rabbi Kleinberg and an incredible faculty and staff have created a culture of awareness, of community partnership, and of care and responsibility to ourselves and to others. It is clear that making a difference is woven into the fabric of the school. And there is always more work to be done. I am committed to carrying the baton forward by making sure that Kahila not only survives but thrives. I am committed to work with our leadership team to try and bring our students back to school. I am committed to working with our faculty to emerge ever stronger as a national leader in sending young people into the world with the practice skills to make a difference. Right now, I grapple with both a broken heart and eyes fixed on the potential of an extraordinary future. So I want to close with this quote that sits in a scrapbook on my desk. What is it that affects you so deeply that whenever you encounter it, you feel the need to look away? Look there. Where is the pain in the world that you just cannot stand? Stand there. The thing that breaks your heart is the very thing you were born to heal. Every world changer's work begins with a broken heart. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of a loving and caring community committed to creating world changers. Thank you, Daisy. We are so excited to welcome you to our school and learn with you and grow with you and see all the places that Kahila can go. When I think back about Kahila and why we're at this school and why we love it so much, I remember when we first thought about Ariella going to Kahila. It was 11 years ago. We had moved up to the Bay Area from Santa Monica. We bought our first home in Palo Alto, joined the JCC, and then discovered Gideon Hausner Jewish Day School. We became part of this amazing Jewish community here in the Bay Area. And we thought that our daughter would go to school through eighth grade, and then we'd send her to a public high school. We live in Palo Alto. The schools here are wonderful. I was picking her up from kindergarten at Hausner, and we drove past the JCC, and Kahila was across the street. And our daughter pointed to the building, to the sign, and said, Mommy, what is that? I said, oh, that's Kahila Jewish High School. And she asked me, well, what do they do there? And I said, big kids, teenagers, they learn Jewish things there. And she said, well, I love learning Jewish things, so I'm gonna have to go to school there one day. And that's it, it was a done deal. Ariella wanted to go to Kahila, and we made it happen. We have been so blessed to be part of this community. The online learning, the trip Junior. to Israel, and I said, Big the kids, teenagers, service they learning, the volunteering, the dedication of teachers, all these things have made Kahila so special for our family. Our Jewish values of tikkun olam and taking care of the world and loving Israel and feeling connected to everyone in the community and helping not just our own community, but everyone in the world is so much in the fabric of our lives and Ariella going to Kahila has been an extension of this for us. 
We are so excited about Kehila and we think about it for our son. He'll be in eighth grade next year. And one of the reasons that we support Kehila so much is because it is single-handedly the most important institution in our daughter's lives right now. We believe so much in what this school can offer our daughter and the whole community. And I hope that you will join me and support Kehila. My husband and I feel so connected and hope that you will feel connected. These are very trying times. There's so much uncertainty in the world. And the one thing we know is that every morning my daughter gets online with Kehila and has a full day of meaningful, substantial, personal learning. And we are so grateful for that. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the future in person, not just on my screen or on your screen, but face to face one day in the future. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for your wonderful words, Andy. At this morning's staff meeting, we met to process the tragedy of George Floyd's murder and the events that have been taking place in cities and communities across the country. As we often do throughout a school year, we have open discussions like this to consider how to talk to our students about important issues, how to move forward as a school, and ultimately how we share the responsibility as educators to prepare Kahila students for extraordinary futures and their impact on the world. We thought it would be fitting to end our program tonight with sharing a letter that will be going out to the Kahila community tomorrow. May this letter help serve as a lens into the kind of school we strive to be for our students and families. Thank you, Patty. I want to ask everybody who is here with us this evening to join me in some silence in memory of George Floyd. Thank you. The first of our four commitments means that we at Kehila hold unequivocally that black lives matter. As educators and as Americans, we are dismayed by the long patterns of race-based brutality in the United States. Our hearts break at the traumatic deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Eric Garner, John Crawford III, Michael Brown, Ezell Ford, Dante Parker, Michelle Cousseau, Laquan McDonald, George Mann, Tanisha Anderson, Akai Gurley, Tamir Rice, Romaine Brisbane, Jerame Reed, Matthew Ajibade, Frank Smart, Natasha McKenna, Tony Robinson, Anthony Hill, Maya Hall, Philip White, Eric Harris, Walter Scott, William Chapman II, Alexia Christian, Brendan Glenn, Victor Manuel La Rosa, Jonathan Sanders, Freddie Blue, Joseph Mann, Salvado Ellswood, Sandra Bland, Albert Joseph Davis, Daria Stewart, Billy Ray Davis, Samuel DuBose, Michael Sabby, Brian Keith Day, Christian Taylor, Troy Robinson, Ashams Faro Manley, Felix Kumi, Keith Harrison McLeod, Junior Prosper, Lamontez Jones, Patterson Brown, Dominic Hutchinson, Anthony Ashford, Alonzo Smith, Tyree Crawford, India Kager, Levante Biggs, Michael Lee Marshall, Jameer Clark, Richard Perkins, Nathaniel Harris Pickett, Benny Lee Tigner, Miguel Espinal, M Michael Knoll, Kevin Matthews, Betty Jones, Quintonio Legreer, Keith Childress Jr., Janet Wilson, Randy Nelson, Antroni Scott, Wendell Celestine, David Joseph, Kaylin Roquemore, Dijon Perkins, Christopher Davis, Marco Loud, Peter Gaines, Tori Robinson, Darius Robinson, 
Kevin Hicks, Mary Trujillo, the Marcus Semmer, Willie Tillman, Terrell Thomas, Silville Smith, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Terence Crutcher, Paul O'Neill, Alteria Woods, Jordan Edwards, Aaron Bailey, Ronell Foster, Stephon Clark, Antoine Rose II, Botham Jean, Pamela Turner, Dominique Clayton, Tatiana Jefferson, Christopher Whitfield, Christopher McCorvey, Eric Reason, Michael Lorenzo Dean, Amadou Diallo, and Trayvon Martin, whose names join the seemingly endless list of black lives cut short unjustly by state violence and structural racism. Keila stands in solidarity with members of the black community and all marginalized groups against this pernicious, racially motivated targeting and mistreatment reminiscent of persecution all too familiar to Jewish history. We must stand together. Communities of color are clearly in pain and Jewish values call on us to stand up as allies. The story of Hebrew enslavement in Egypt culminates in an admonition, a moral imperative repeated numerous times in the Torah to let the memory of past persecution guide our, ex our actions. Exodus chapter 23, verse 9 commands, V'ger lo tilchatz, v'atem yedatem et nefesh hager, ki gerim heitem be'eretz mitzrayim. You shall not oppress the stranger, for you know the feelings of the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. We call on the members of our community, students, teachers, families, to live up to the admonition in Exodus to see and hear the feelings of those unjustly treated as strangers in their own land, and then to actively work towards dismantling the pervasive structures of racism in our country. The fourth of our four commitments calls on each of us to take responsibility, in this case for doing our utmost to learn, to empathize, to acknowledge the justified outrage of marginalized and persecuted people, and to support the cause of social justice and pursue tikkun olam a repaired world. As a school, education is our primary task, and education is an important part of building a more equitable society. But we also recognize that education alone is not enough to enact lasting change. Now is the time for every one of us to contribute with meaningful action. The steps we each take towards social justice will look different from person to person and even conversation to conversation. For those in our community unsure where to begin, we will be sharing resources with you tomorrow by email to help you connect to the larger conversation and determine how you can best work to undo the structures of racism and inequality in our society. As Anne Marie, a Holocaust survivor who spoke to Kehillah students over Zoom, recently reminded us, living out never again means standing up to make sure that the oppression of any group cannot endure. We call on every member of this, our beloved Kehila, to speak up and be part of the solution, because a more equitable future demands hard work from us all. Thank you for your ongoing support for this beloved community, and please take care of each other. Shalom. Hi, I'm Cameron, Senior Class President. During these trying times, Kahila has been a constant light for its students. Thank you for supporting Kahila and creating extraordinary futures. Thank you for supporting Kahila. 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 Go Rams. Thank you for supporting Kahila. 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 Thank you for supporting
Thank you. Gracias. Merci. Gracias por apoyar Kehila. Thank you for supporting 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 Kehila. Thank you so much for supporting Kehila. Thank you for supporting our community. Kehila. Yay. Thank you for supporting Kehila. We love our Gracias por ayudar a Kehila. Thank you for supporting Kehila. Thank you for supporting our school. Thank you everyone for supporting Kehila and our students. I'm going to finish with a song. Welcome our incoming head of school, Daisy Pellant. I'm so excited for her. A very challenging time, certainly, to, uh, to be taking over any institution, but certainly a school. And so I'd written this song and I was gonna play it for our community and for her, but I didn't get to, so I'll play it now and then, uh, and then we'll sign off. This is called uh, Seven Years. <laughs>